Hello, in this video, I'm going to be going through how to do question number one right off your 7.0 to 7.2 quiz review. This quiz review has seven total questions, and each question has a video that goes over the solution and reviews what you need to know. You have three attempts on this assignment, so if you want to try it once as a practice quiz and just see how it goes without watching the videos, you can do that. Just make sure that if you don't watch the videos on your first attempt, after you submit it, view your assessment so you can see which questions you got right or wrong, and any question that you did not get full credit for, you should write that down and go back and watch the video on the next attempt so that when you submit it, you get 100% on your final submission. The questions on this review are very similar to the questions on the quiz, so watching these videos will prepare you to be successful on the quiz. Question number one comes from lesson 7.0 and asks us to simplify each radical. We learned the process for simplifying radicals back in 7.0, and it involves finding the largest perfect square that divides evenly into your radical. So here's a list of the perfect squares to help us. And if I want to figure out the biggest perfect square that goes into 24, I should first check and see if 24 might be on my list. It's not. So I need to check all the perfect squares below 24. You can actually look at the halfway point. So if I do 24 and I divide it by 2, that's 12. So we can look at just the perfect squares that are 12 or below. So that means I just need to check 9 and 4. You won't use 1, by the way, because dividing out a radical 1 doesn't change anything. Now, if you take 24 and you divide it by 9, that does not work. 24 divided by 9 is a decimal. But 24 divided by 4 is 6. So we're going to break up root 24 into root 4. My perfect square was 4 times 6. And then we can split it apart into two separate radicals. So radical 4 times radical 6. Then the square root of 4 is 2. So our answer simplifies to 2 root 6. And you'll just kind of drag and drop that answer into the box right there. Square root of 72, I'm again going to check first if 72 might be on my list. Um, it jumps from 64 to 81, so I don't have 72. So let me use my shortcut here for the perfect squares list, and I need to check all the perfect squares that are half of 72 or below. So half of 72 is 36, and notice that 36 is a perfect square, so that's the biggest one. We'll rewrite root 72 as root 36 times 2, because 72 divided by 36 is 2. Then we can split that apart into two separate radicals, root 36 times root 2. Root 36 is my perfect square, so we have 6 root 2 as our final answer. And again, drag and drop that into the box for problem B. For our last radical, we have root 144. Always check first if you might have a perfect square. Here you can see that 144 is right on our perfect square list. So the square root of 144 is just 12. It's a nice whole number. We don't have to simplify the radical at all. It's just 12. 